Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbal's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about managing locations in Limbal. This video will teach you what a location is, the difference between locations and parent assets, how to configure location settings, and how to add users to a location. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbal, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. We often get asked the difference between locations and parent assets and when to use each. In Limbal, locations are used to break out responsibilities and limit user access. Parent assets are located within a location and are used to organize assets. Let's look at an example. Big L Manufacturing has two plants, one in Colorado and one in Wyoming. Robert is a technician at the Colorado plant while David is a technician at the Wyoming plant. Both plants have two buildings. Each building has an HVAC unit and a security system. Even though the two buildings at the plant may be separate physical locations in real life, the same technician is responsible for the maintenance at each. By creating Colorado plant and Wyoming plant as locations, and then organizing the respective buildings as parent assets within those locations, each technician will have the permissions they need to do their work while the assets are organized in the correct building at each plant. We'd call the security system and HVAC units child assets, which we talk about more in our asset hierarchy video. If you're still not sure whether to create a new location or a parent asset, ask yourself some of these questions. Do I need to limit access to a group of assets to only a specific set of users? If the answer is yes, then you should create a new location. Do I need a unique work request portal for this group of assets? If the answer is yes, then you should create a new location. Do I want to organize my assets in Limble by building or floor while allowing everyone on my team access to those places? If the answer is yes, then those buildings or floors should be created as parent assets, not as new locations. Remember, locations divide user access. Parent assets organize your equipment. Now that you know about the difference between locations and parent assets, let's talk a little more about adding a location and what settings are available. By default, your Limbal account comes with one location already made called First Location. You can rename it and customize settings such as the address, contact information, hours of operation, and more. Click the Locations icon from the Navigation menu. From the expanded list of options, click the blue Manage text. This will take you to the Manage Locations page. Click on the location name. In the new window, you'll be able to customize your location settings. The first section is Basic Location Settings. Here, you can rename the location, add contact information, set a map location, set the location time zone, and add a default location image. The next section allows you to create up to three meta fields that can be utilized with API. The next section is advanced settings. The first of these settings is hours of operation per week. This number is used to determine how long your equipment runs each week at this location, which is critical to determining performance metrics, such as mean time before failure. You can access this location's work request portal and QR code here. Next is the work took too long notification. This will send a notification to a user or team if a task took longer than expected to complete. For example, if a PM's estimated time is set to 30 minutes and the technician logs one hour, the user or team assigned here will be notified. By default, this notification is sent to the manager of this location, but this can be changed by clicking the blue text. The last three settings in this section are email templates. Here, you can determine what the email messages will look like when a user is assigned to a task, a comment is made on a task, or when a user is assigned to a task following a request approval instruction being completed. Clicking the blue email text for any of these options will open a new window where you can modify the template. The next section is where you can configure extra email notifications. Here, you can layer additional email notifications to alert someone when work is done on a task. One of the most common uses for this feature is to notify a manager when a task is overdue. You can configure additional conditions for your notification 
by hovering until the cog icon appears and choosing from more advanced settings. The last section of location settings is workflow automations. Workflow automations allow you to make updates to an asset field when a task is started, completed, or deleted. One of the most common uses for this feature is changing the up-down status of an asset when a work request or unplanned work order is started or completed. Once you're satisfied with your configurations, exit the window. The last setting you can configure for your location is machine down emails. This allows your technicians to send out an email notifying others that an asset is down. Clicking the mail icon will allow you to enable this function and edit the template. To add more locations, click the add location button and repeat the same configuration process. Once you've configured your locations, it's time to add users. This can be done from the Manage Users page. Since roles are location-based, users will only have access to the locations where they're assigned a role. This is how locations divide responsibilities. We recommend adding at least one user with a manager role to each location. Other than super users, managers have the most permissions within Limble. They will have permission to assign work, make changes to your assets and part inventories, and see more information about your Limble account than users with the technician or view only roles. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.